Number one, take the physical sensitivities of ME-CFS patients seriously. The patient has no control over the things that hurt them and cause them to crash. All of the symptoms of ME-CFS are real, physical, and should be treated as seriously as the symptoms of any other illness. Number two, do whatever you can to help patients stay below their energy limits. This is extremely important to keep pa patients from getting worse. And number three, try to work with patients in a way that doesn't make them worse. Be creative, think outside the box. Patients have to do this to survive and the people who interact with them should too. This extends to all aspects of care for ME-CFS patients.